A rain stick is a type of pink noise. Who would have thought? This is Neurodiversipedia. Let's talk about the difference between brown noise, pink noise, white noise, and blue noise. Noise is basically sound that gets in the way of anything that we're trying to hear, or maybe not hear. It's kind of like a distraction. Noise is a term that's not just used with auditory things, it's also used in things like photos. If a photo is really blurry and grainy, we call that a photo that has a lot of noise because you can't see the image clearly. So with that in mind, auditory noise is similar. You're trying to block out some kind of sound around you by playing a certain type of noise and distracting you from that other type of sound. So what are the different types of noise? White noise is probably the most common that you've heard of. It's a bunch of different types of frequencies that help kids uh, or people in general just focus or drown something out. Funny enough, researchers also say that babies love white noise. It's like a kind of background buzz. It's really calming to them. Pink noise is similar to white noise, but with a little bit of a twist. There's equal power in notes that are an octave apart. So think of like the pitter-patter of rain. Okay, so if white noise is a bunch of different types of frequencies, pink noise is equal power in each octave apart, then what's brown noise? Brown noise is different because it has a lower frequency. Things like thunderstorms, that would be brown noise. This is really good for focusing. Brown noise is also used in therapy quite a bit to help calm the nervous system. And it, it can be calming to certain people in a way that white noise and pink noise just don't accomplish. Okay, so if brown noise is the low frequencies, like bass, then blue noise is the high frequencies, like treble. It's the really high-pitched, annoying sounds that really is noise that's distracting. Blue noise is not helpful for focusing or falling asleep. A lot of people will use blue noise to actually test audio equipment and see if it's working correctly. White noise, pink noise, and brown noise are all really great examples of what you can use to help your kids sleep at night or focus when they're doing homework. Goalie actually uses all three types of these noises in both the Nightlight app, so there's a nightlight and a sound machine that helps kids sleep, but also Chill Zone, which is a channel in the TV app that helps kids emotionally regulate their bodies with low-stimulation video content. You can check out more about all of those apps here.